Do you absolutely hate cleaning your ferret's cage? If so, follow along with me today while we clean our ferret's cage and I'll show you some tips and tricks that I do to make the job not so horrible. So my first tip is keep it simple. So some of the stuff that I use to clean their cage is some washcloths, a bucket that's gonna have some hot water in it. I have a brush. As for a soap to clean, I don't like to use soap in their cage because they can be sensitive to different types of soaps. So what I like to do is take 50% of the white vinegar and 50% water and just mix it up in a spray bottle. I keep it simple and I keep all my cleaning supplies always together so when I go to clean their cage, I'm not running around looking for a bunch of stuff. I can just grab the stuff I need and I can just go. All right, so here we are. My cage is on the ground. I'm gonna start by taking the doors off my cage. One of the reasons we love the Ferret Nation brand cage for ferrets is because cleaning is so much easier because you just open the doors and those pop right off. So now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. The first step's gonna be emptying the cage. I'm gonna remove any of the bedding, the beds, hammocks, hanging cubes, toys, everything that's in there is gonna come right out, including ferrets. Next, I'm gonna sort their stuff. Anything that's cloth is gonna go in a pile, and anything that was plastic is gonna go in another pile. All right, so for their plastic stuff, so like this little Heidi cave, as well as some plastic jingly balls, these I'm gonna go ahead and put in the sink. As for everything else, we're gonna throw all of that into the washer. Always be careful when putting stuff in your washer. I always do a head count, make sure all the ferrets are still out and about to make sure I didn't accidentally put one of them into the washer. Okay, so all I have left in there is the shelves with their liners on them as well as the litter box. So I'm gonna pull the litter box out. Normally we scoop the litter box twice a day, but because we're doing our weekly deep clean, everything in here is gonna get thrown away and replaced with new fresh litter. you're often left with a box that might have some poop stains on it. If you use pine pellets like we do, you're going to have some powdery residue at the bottom. So I'm going to take our 50-50% vinegar and water mix and just spray it all over. Then I'm going to take my washcloth and wipe it all down. All right, once I got the box clean, I'll take another washcloth and then that's what I have my hot water for. We're just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm just gonna kinda rinse it out again. The vinegar is safe for your ferrets, but I like to just get some of the excess off just so it's not as pungent. While cleaning your cage, if it's accessible to your ferrets, they'll probably come explore and be like, what is going on? You gotta go, buddy. You gotta go. All right, so next I'm gonna take off these shelves. For the Ferret Nation, it's pretty easy. These plastic shelves just come right off they're little holders. Then I'm going to take these covers off and add it to the washer. Now, our shelf covers for the Ferret Nation, these are just normal like twin size pillowcases that fit perfect. So they just slide on and off really easy. I have helpers. We don't need helpers. Now, our ferrets don't normally have accidents and are basically 100% litter trained. So if your ferrets had accidents, I would definitely make sure to pick up any poop pieces that may be on the cloth before throwing it in your washer and having the poop just floating around everywhere. Now, even though they didn't have any accidents on this, I still like to give this a wipe with the vinegar water mix as well. If they did have an accident on this, I would probably take this into my bathtub or shower and give it a little better of a scrub with the washcloth and more water. All right, we're just gonna take some water, give that a wipe. And temporarily, I'm just gonna throw this right back in the cage. Now, in my single Ferret Nation, I actually have two shelves in here. I took a shelf from one of our other Ferret Nation cages to give them extra space. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this one. I'm going to take it out, remove the pillowcase, throw that in the washer, and then just wipe down the shelf real quick. Then at the bottom of the cage, you have the very large plastic piece. We're gonna pull that one out as well. Now, this one is definitely too big for a pillowcase cover. However, I just took a flat sheet, cut it into quarters, and basically just sewed a pocket. So basically it looks exactly like a pillowcase, only ginormous. So here's your opening up here, and it's just gonna slide right down. The other three sides are sewed shut. So it's really easy to take it on and off. And same steps, we're gonna wipe it with the vinegar water mixture. And kind of give it a little rinse with the water. Now, if your ferret cage has like tight spots that's really hard to clean, so you can see, for example, so this is the door of the Ferret Nation cage. And if you can kind of see, 
in these crevices areas you get like food sometimes dust just get a lot of stuff stuck in there so what I like to do to get all that out is take my spray bottle we have it on stream now instead of spray and I'm just gonna basically squirt into that hole and it helps push all of that stuff right on out and for anything that might be stuck in there that's what our bristle brush is for we're just gonna take that and we're gonna do that to both sides so you're gonna go from looking like that where you have all that crud stuck in there to no crud all clean spanking new so I'm gonna finish up both doors all right so now that the entire cage is actually clean and ready to be put back together my second really big tip is to have a second set of bedding and toys for your ferrets so earlier, after we pulled out all of their bedding, hammocks, and all the cloth stuff, we put it in the washer. The washer and the dryer is going to take some time, so you either have to leave the cage looking like this, empty and barren, or if you have a second set of stuff, you can just swap it out and have it set up immediately again. I find this makes cleaning their cage so much better, because now in a couple hours when everything's done, I'm not dreading, oh my goodness, I have to now reassemble the entire cage. I'm just completely done all at the same time. All right, so here is my gigantic pillowcase type slip cover and we're gonna put that on the bottom shelf just gonna slide that over like so and and now we're gonna slide this right back in I have a second set of pillowcases for their shelf so we're gonna go ahead and cover these guys back up Put that back in. Second shelf. All right, so now we're gonna finish setting up all of their hammocks and hanging stuff, beds and toys. Something else I really like to do, when we do a weekly cage cleaning, I like to change up where some of the stuff was. For ferrets, just putting the same toys in a different spot or the same kind of hammocks in a different spot, it becomes like a whole new toy for them. So I definitely like to rearrange things as often as possible. All right, so now I'm gonna go take the litter box and fill it with clean litter. And for plastic toys, we're just gonna spray it with vinegar water, wipe, and then rinse off. And there you have it. One clean cage that did not take forever and was not horrible. So we're just gonna reopen it. The boys are already ready. As you can see, we rearrange things like I suggested earlier. It makes things very exciting for them. And I even rearranged the dishes this time. I don't normally do that because it's not as easy to do as everything else. But we did put them in a new spot for them this time. So there you have it all clean and reassembled and the boys are already exploring all the new changes to their cage.